Hello and welcome to this James the Bike Guy where today we're getting to take a look at specialized take on an aluminum XZ race bike. This particular bike is the kind of rig that would be perfect for running in the Nika race series or a mountain biker looking for an XZ hardtail and save a little bit of money. So in this video we're getting to check out the 2022 specialized chisel. So in this video we're going to go over the features and designs of this specialized chisel. We'll talk about the part spec that comes on this base model and then of course we'll find out exactly what it weighs. So if this kind of thing is interesting to you consider subscribing and let's check out this bike together. So beginning to talk about the specialized chisel we should talk about where this comes from. This particular bike has come into fruition over time from a bike that started out as the Carve, which then turned into the Crave, and those were a little more rowdy uh, XC hardtails. A bike back in the day where 100 mils of travel up front was a lot for an XC bike, and then it molds into today where the Specialized Epic, their XC race bike, the full suspension version, also now comes in a carbon fiber hardtail. And so Specialized needed a bike to come in and kind of reach into that area of a more affordable price point of a XC hardtail with an aluminum frame, but some pretty solid performance. So this bike being the base model chisel comes in at $1,800. And then there's a chisel comp above this that runs about $2,400, at least as of right now. And both of those bikes are going to share the same XC aluminum frame. And this aluminum frame is a pretty neat setup with a Delucio Smart Weld head tube. So it's made out of their M5 aluminum frame. And this Delucio Smart Weld, you can see the head tube is a forged piece of aluminum that then is welded kind of all as one piece together to this top tube and down tube junction. They've been doing this style of head tube and in fact a bottom bracket for a while on their LA road bike and it's allowed the bikes to ride way nicer but also still be quite a bit stiffer than a traditionally constructed bike. Saves a few pieces, uh, lightens it up. It's a really neat technology that Specialized has. And I've owned road bikes with the Delucio Smart Weld front end and I gotta say, it really works. So I imagine on a mountain bike, that's a nice feature. Now this frame is very good looking in my opinion because it's a little more slender than what you often get with some of these bikes now that have gigantic tubes. Kind of gives it a nice look. And as you go down to the center, you will see it does have a threaded bottom bracket. A nice feature to see there. And going out back through what seems like small chain stays compared to some of the newer bikes today, you've got a through axle and then the rear stays have just a little bit of bow to them. You see them come out, that should allow the bike to be a little more compliant and a little softer riding out back. This being an XC performance bike, it does not come stock with a dropper post, although you can add it with a 30.9 seat post, a dropper and internal routed, and you'll see it comes out just in front of the head tube. Now it is all internally routed for shift and brake as well. Super nice to see and a very clean setup. And to make the bike capable on the XC trails, you have 100 millimeters of front suspension up front, courtesy of a RockShox Judy we'll get into later, and then some very XC inspired geometry. So those who are looking for long and slack, well, this isn't the bike for you. They make something called the Fuse, which is a much more rowdy, longer travel slacker hardtail. But this particular one has a 68 degree head tube angle, a 74 degree seat tube angle, and then a chainstay length of 432 millimeters. To the Endurbros, that's definitely not gonna set the world on fire, but those are the kind of numbers that you need to have a fast handling, quick bike to be able to get around on an XC trail. Dropping into the part spec of the bike, we'll start with the 100 millimeter front suspension through this RockShox Judy fork. So this has 100 millimeters of suspension as we were saying. It uses their turnkey lockout. This is the silver version of the fork, which means that this is a mid-level spec with air adjustment, so you can add and remove air as required. For this being an entry-level fork, this would be a place where you could save a ton of weight as well as get a lot more performance upgrading in the future. And to make that easy, 
that Delucio Smart Weld front end is inch and an eighth to inch and a half tapered. So it'll fit any of the modern XC forks. And the wheels are 15 by 110 millimeter boost up front, 29 inch wheels. These are gonna be alloy wheels, both on the front as well as the rear. And they're laced up with some fast track T5 tires. This is their control tire and something new for at least this year on the OEM bike. So you can see it's coming with gray sidewalls. It's a small feature that I think looks really nice. I hope they start selling that aftermarket and it goes well with that charcoal look of the frame. Now this tire is in a 29 by 2.35 width. It is tubeless ready. Wheels are tubeless ready so you can set all that up. And then in back is gonna be a SRAM SX drivetrain. This SX drivetrain features SRAM's Eagle SX rear derailleur. It's a clutched rear derailleur that operates a 11 to 50 tooth rear cassette. So quite a wide range out back and then drives forward to the SRAM SX crank set with a 32 tooth narrow wide chain ring. And to shift that rear derailleur through its 12 speeds is an SX shifter. Thumb button brings you to an easier gear and then you've got a thumb button forward that brings you to harder gear. And slowing the bike down comes through the level T brakes from SRAM. This is another spot where I could see an upgrade in the future. The level T's are adequate, although I'd love to see something with slightly more power and a little less chunkiness on the handlebar, but it does clamp down on two piston calipers, both on the front and the rear. And to keep control of the bike is through a specialized XC mini rise handlebar. So this is a nice wide handlebar with an eight degree sweep for a comfortable position. You can also see you've got a slight rise to the handlebar as well. And then the stem is a specialized alloy stem as well. And out back, your saddle is mounted up on an alloy 30.9 seat post, of course, replaceable with a dropper in the future if you wanted, and a body geometry power saddle. This power saddle is one of the truncated nose saddles. You can see the front end is a little bit shorter to alleviate some pressure on the tubing downstairs. Well, now that we've taken a look at the features and designs of this bike, I think it's time we find out what the specialized chisel weighs. The actual weight of the specialized chisel in a size medium comes in and weighs 26.48 pounds. Thanks so much for joining me to check out this 2022 Specialized Chisel. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts about this bike. Is it worth the $1,800 price tag? Would this be a perfect bike if you were getting into XC racing and a great place to start? I'd love to know those thoughts down in the comment section below. And while you're at it, be sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already and browse the channel to see more videos like this to check out as well.